football in England. No place produces more joy, unforgettable games, and most importantly, best bats of all time. I mean, isn't it every child's dream to become a professional footballer one day? For me, that dream never became a reality. To be honest, I never really tried. But today, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to change that by eating and training like Jude Bellingham for 24 hours. Born on the 29th of June in 2003, starting his professional career at Birmingham City, becoming their youngest ever first team player at 60. A whopping £33 million transfer fee was paid by Borussia Dortmund, making him the most expensive 17-year-old footballer. He became a key player in Dortmund and transferred in 2023 to Real Madrid, where he continues to impress the royal fans. But more importantly, he is representing the three Lions on their way to the Euro title this year. I reckon it's about time. As the English have been waiting for the title since 1966. Comment down below who you think is going to win that title this year. Now let me put my football skills to a first test. Alright guys, enough football for now. Current time is quarter past 11. I kind of messed that up because Bellingham is sleeping around 7 to 9 hours per night. And generally speaking, all footballers have their recovery as a main priority. So no time to waste and they'll try to get around 7 hours of sleep now. Good morning guys, that was definitely not 7 hours of sleep. Current time is, yeah half past six already and i went to bed around 12 so didn't meet that first requirement but let's get some breakfast now so for breakfast we have some eggs and oats with strawberries and frozen berries and usually bellingham has it with orange juice but unfortunately i don't have that so it's just going to be water Classic and delicious breakfast for this morning. The sun has just come out now and it's quite fresh this morning. So I hope that it's getting a bit warmer for our first training session. It's going to be interval training. So sprinting for 10 seconds and then slow jogging for another 20 seconds. And then I'll do that 10 times. So all set. <sighs> Got some good shoes on. The grass is quite wet right now. And this, yeah, it's alright. I think I can manage that. I guess, let's get started. Don't forget to properly warm up at first. God, that was only five minutes. But Jesus, I was about to die. Yeah. I mean, my pulse 170, 180. Repeat that cycle for about three times now. So, see you guys in a bit. And to finish off, I tried to do some drill training without a ladder. Smash that like button if you're enjoying this video. Back home from my first training session and now eating some skier yogurt with banana. I definitely need that potassium today, but Bellingham eats it with Greek yogurt. Unfortunately, I don't have that. All done, that was freaking taste. Now there's a reason why footballers have their own chefs, because food is fuel. I mean, in general, you need all the different vitamins, carbs, fats, proteins. And that's why nutrition is so important. 
now comes something which I've been neglecting for some time already. But there's a simple reason for that, because I'm playing badminton on Friday evenings now, and uh, kind of replace that activity for my leg day. But you know, footballers need some solid legs, so let's get this workout in. Workouts complete guys, a solid leg workout without any squats because I'm still injured on my shoulder and it feels quite uncomfortable to do that. But I'm getting quite hungry now, so let's get some lunch. Bellingham eats for lunch quinoa with chicken and some vegetables, but yeah, that's gonna be a bit difficult because first of all I had quinoa, hated it, like I had I tried out a vegan diet once and I couldn't eat that, that's why I'm eating these tortilla wraps now. But I have some salad and onions here, so I'm gonna mix that together and have this as my lunch. And some sriracha sauce so I can keep my calories low as well. That lunch was delicious and it's time for our next activity, actually the main activity for today. So Bellingham is a midfielder, so I need to get the passing right, shooting and also defending. So it's going to be an all-rounder training today. At first I tried to do some shooting training from different angles. My skills at dribbling are quite awful and that's why I tried to train. And at last I tried to do some passing training and then continue with some more shooting. Football session complete. I tried to do some training, but it's quite difficult alone. And I just got some passes at the end, so I trained that as well. I couldn't do any defending, but that's kind of my strength. I like to defend and not attack, so probably not the best player in the midfield. The weather changed quite a bit now. But we have our next snack, strawberries with a protein shake. It's a chocolate one, but it's fresh strawberries as well. Perfect. Another important part of footballers is their recovery and stretching routine. I've been following some YouTube videos for a couple of days there as well, because I'm documenting my results on my stretching routine for the next 30 days. So don't forget to subscribe to my channel. So the stretching was quite nice, but it started to rain heavily now, so that's actually good timing there. For dinner we have some rice, some pork, some fresh vegetables, and that's what Jude Bellingham eats all the time. I looked it up quickly, like rice, oats, quinoa, fresh vegetables, fish and lean meat. But it's all made by his private chef. Let's see. That's my favorite meat, kind of. Pork is just lovely, if you do it right then. So a couple of days have gone past, I'm just editing the video and honestly I'm just happy that I've chosen Jude Bellingham because that guy is amazing. Like he's so humble and the way he went through his journey and just everything mixes together to a great personality and definitely a good role model for the younger generation, someone to really look up to. But that's it for today's video, I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure that you smash that like button if you enjoyed it and make sure you watch this video right up here.